Music, a uh, once upon a time sound, some musicians believe is dead, comes back to life. It's a sound created by a tube amplifier. But there's a Wabash Valley man who's bringing the sound back to life. As News 10's Matt Gregory found out, you might not see him on the big stage, but you'll definitely hear him. The strings sing as the chords ring from Michael Bates' Stratocaster. Uh, about 18 years ago. Yeah, so I've been playing guitar for a long time, and guitar's always been a big passion of mine. But this story isn't about Michael and his guitar. Rather, it's the amplifier that purveys the powerful notes that we have an interest in. A vacuum-style tube amp, one that he and his friend Jeremy Jones started working on several years ago. Jeremy's an electrician, and so um, he's always built his own stuff. He built a, a drum set from scratch and all kinds of stuff. So we began the dialogue, and that's when he decided he was going to try his hands at building a, a vacuum tube amplifier. A rat's nest of cords, conductors, and of course, the coveted vacuum tubes transfers electric chaos to a harmonious homemade sound wave that Michael and Jeremy took on the road. And they found the sound they loved, musicians loved right back. It's been used on um, Reba McIntyre's NBC show. Um, they, for, this, for the music behind that. Since then, Michael and Jeremy's garage factory has grown. And then kind of hang that up, and then that's, uh, that's how he starts building a prototype. So he's been working on this guy all week. Moving into new quarters with more agents of amplification, and more musicians enjoying the sweet sound developed on the banks of the Wabash. Imix is an old English word that means things that mix or blend well together. A sound that's blending Terre Haute with the world. I always wanted to be a professional musician, and that never panned out. So I figure, you know, it's why not be still a part of the music industry uh, and build those guys who did make it, you know, great product. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Eric Stidman, Matt Gregory, News 10. Bates says his company is also working on new prototypes that say will be ready in the next year.